Here it's what we're gonna cover in today's video. Bitcoin is bouncing off the golden pocket. Plus, of course, an explanation of what the heck does that mean. Also, what is my plan for my next trade? And what's going on with Ethereum? Mm. If you are looking for a way to make money consistently with crypto, you are at the right place. My name is Bowie B and I've been trading cryptocurrencies for a living for nearly six years. I have a free web class where I'm going to share with you the secret method I used to turn $4,944 into over $300,000. To register for the web class, click the link below this video, then enter your name and email address in order to reserve your 24 hour pass. Go ahead and do that now while the web class is still available for free. Alright guys, boy B here from satsincome.com and I do this YouTube video in order to help you make money with crypto because most people are losing their money and I don't want you to be one of them. So hit this subscribe button and the notification bell in order to get notified when I upload new videos. Let's start with the Fibonacci retracement tool and the golden pocket right here. Actually, we're gonna go to a nice new clean chart in order to show you how does that work. So first of all, when you get a little bit of an uptrend like this and then you start getting a correction, and you are anticipating that at some point this move to the upside will continue and we're gonna break above this high then what you do is you get from here this nice little fib retracement tool which is the first one at, here, at the top and you measure from the bottom to the top of this move then you start looking at where this correction might stop as i already mentioned in previous videos when the market is very very bullish we will bounce off of this level right here and as long as the price stays above here we can absolutely pump to the upside sometimes we gonna go to this level right here sometimes we're gonna go even to this one but the best place to buy in terms of rewards to risk in order in anticipation for a move to the upside right here is this golden pocket right here fee retracement level from 0.618 to 0.65 why this is the best place to buy well it's the best place to buy in terms of rewards to risk right because if you enter a trade right here in this golden pocket you can place your stop loss below the next level right here because if we go down to here probably your analysis was wrong and we are not really going to get a move to the upside right we are actually probably going down and breaking above this low so this is an easy setup with again a stop loss below this level and you can target above here right and i can show you another way to target but we're gonna you might get confused right now here so let's actually stick to this plan again you are entering the golden pocket stop loss below this level and then you are targeting a higher high above this level and you see in terms of rewards to risk it is great trade am i going to do this right right now not really why well if we use the fibonacci retracement and you we look here at our support and our resistances you're gonna see that if you do enter this setup right here and then you place your stop loss right here it doesn't make much sense because if price goes below here it's very close to the support from where we might get a bounce and then you're gonna exit right here you're gonna be stopped out and a little bit lower we are getting a bounce right so it's not ideal right so i'm gonna ignore this setup but i'm showing it to you in case you want to trade like that right and for a future setup slide this because that's a great strategy in general right to be trading but as i already mentioned in yesterday's updates this for me is a no trade zone right i'm not looking for any trades right here and yesterday i talked about why now when i'm gonna be looking for trades that's what we're gonna talk about now well i have here my setups so first of all we either from somewhere doesn't matter from where we bounce and we go to the resistance right here and we break the resistance if that's the case i'm gonna enter a decent long position right with a very tight stop loss again if we break above the resistance and we get a, what does it mean if we break above the resistance well if we get a candle close above this resistance on the four hour time frame that's where i'm gonna enter a trade with the short stop loss which i cannot tell exactly where it is right now because i'm gonna base it on the market structure when we are there if we get there right and i'm gonna update you on that but again if we get a candle close above here i'm gonna enter a long position with a tight stop loss and i'm gonna target here like 27 28 thousand dollars which is gonna be a great trade around 700 rewards to risk or something like that this i will do if we break above the resistance if we go from here to down to the support and we break the support i'm gonna enter a short position right which is gonna be again with a tight stop loss based on market structure i'm gonna update you when that happens and if that happens and i'm gonna target here like 15k roughly this support zone right here then i have a third scenario right and the third scenario is my most favorite and if that happens i'm gonna be like the happiest person in the world 
because we've been talking for this for quite some time if we break through a downside and we break support and i'm gonna enter a short position right because we're not gonna know if it's a fake out or no but if it ended up a fake out and a swing failure pattern, right? Which I talk about this pattern in the previous videos. If you don't know what is it, don't worry. If it happens right here, I'm definitely gonna talk about it a lot and I'm gonna still enter my short position. But if we get a swing failure, I'm gonna exit the short position and I'm gonna enter a long position. And this position, if we get this scenario, I will have the highest risk ever, right? And I'm gonna try to enter as much as possible, right? Six figure position because this will give incredible rewards to risk. And I'm actually hoping for this to happen, right? we don't know if we're gonna get it but i'm hoping for this meaning that we break up below the support but it end up a fake out right and then we go start going above the support well this is gonna be our best scenario why because i'm not even going to target this resistance in this case i'm going to go directly and shoot for this for like 28k right and in terms of rewards through this is gonna be like 14 15 whatever we don't know at that point but it's gonna be higher than both of these setups so that's my plan going forward but again right here where we are right now it's a no zone for me right i'm not looking for long i'm not looking for short i'm just sitting on the sidelines and waiting because there is 50 50 right now 50 percent chance we go down to the support and we break down 50 percent chance we go back to the resistance and we break the resistance meaning that there is no edge right now so it doesn't make sense to enter any trade you just wait right here now let's switch to ethereum and check real quick what is going on there well ethereum has been rejected from this resistance for quite some time <laughs> actually i'm glad i brought this because this is a swing failure pattern that i talked about just a couple of minutes ago this is a perfect swing failure and when you see this at resistance you could definitely enter short i wasn't really watching at that right i wasn't really watching ethereum in the other market updates i just opened it today if we saw these guys this was a nice short down to the resistance but it is what it is right this is a swing failure pattern and if we see this on bitcoin right here we're definitely gonna take advantage of it basically when you see a high and then the bulls try to break above this high but then they got rejected and you get this bearish candle at resistance meaning that at the point of the breakout a lot of people enter long position right here and actually if we check the volume we're gonna see that this candle has a decent volume right so people on a lower time frames they enter here in anticipating uh, in uh, anticipation of the breakout and they are trapped right and therefore when the bears push down the price we're gonna get a nice move to the downside and that's exactly what happens so now what's going on with ethereum well ethereum is very close to the support so when we get into this support we're gonna look either for a long position back to the resistance right or if we start seeing that the bulls are losing this support we're gonna look for a short position going back down to this next support right here which is ba which was basically the bottom and uh that's it for today's update by the way let's check quickly the fear and greed index we are at 26 today so we are starting to go down right yesterday and last week we were like 30 so again people are starting to get more and more fearful we are not going to the extremes yet but if this continue going down we're probably gonna get there that's it for for today's market update guys if you still haven't registered for my free web class go ahead and do that now what you gotta do is just scroll down below the video which you are watching right now find the pin comment click the link in the pin comment reserve your 24 hour pass and i'll see you on the other side boy b is checking out